What's going on guys, Randy Egger here from ZeroToVJ.com and it's day 26 of making visuals with Resolum 6. So let's get into it. Uh, as always, set your good old timer. <clears throat> and yeah, let's, let's get right into it. Um, so I'm gonna go to the uh, linescape again here um, and let's kind of see what we can uh, what we can do with this, do with this. Um, this is what I was using uh, yesterday. Um, as always, it's a bit of a can be a bit of a crazy one to to work with, but let's see what we can do. All right, let's go to our colors here or our effects. <clears throat> Just trying to play with a few, <laughs> few ideas here. See what I can uh, come up with. Um, again, none of this is uh, pre-planned. This is all just you know on the spot, and uh, let's see what we can come up with here. Terrain is kind of a confusing one because it <laughs> it does uh, has kind of a similar effect to um, as the, has these lines here. <clears throat> See if we can get by warping. So actually. Um, just got an idea here. We're gonna try working with the uh, twisted, uh, twisted effect, and this one is a little self-explanatory. Um, basically, all it's doing is, um, yeah, creating this twisting motion um, on the uh, on the visual. It kind of twirls it, yeah, twirls it around. Um, <clears throat> so. And this can be a really cool effect um, if you incorporate something like a mirror um, and you got this kind of crazy, crazy looking shape. Um, let's actually try shifting these around. Uh, and let's even try adding another another effect onto this. <clears throat> and Bendoscope is still, <clears throat> so I just added that on there. Bendoscope is still an effect that is a little bit of a tricky one to um, <laughs> haven't honestly found anything uh, too, you know, usable uh, for that. So 
So again, a lot of this is really just a lot of trial and error to kind of see what, um, see what you can kind of come up with. <clears throat> Let's actually try going with uh, wave warp instead. There's certain effects. Uh, there's a few effects like the uh, ripple, um, wave warp, goo that all sort of achieve a similar uh, similar look. Um, it kind of adds a bit of distortion um, to your existing um, image. And I'm gonna just turn this off a little bit here so you can kind of see. Um, so this is the wave warp. You can see it's making this thing go, making our lines go uh, pretty pretty crazy here. Um, I'm gonna try increasing the height on these lines real quick. And then go to our twist. And this thing is looking pretty crazy now. So this thing is definitely starting to look a little, <laughs> little crazy now. Um, I'm gonna take down the speed here on this uh, wave warp. Can make it go really fast, be really crazy. So this looks kind of cool. We've got a little bit of a uh, you know, kind of glitchy, <laughs> glitchy behavior going on. Um, try to flip that. even slow this down a little bit here. I'm actually just gonna take that uh, twisted part out of there and I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. And yeah, I, uh, so <laughs> I adjusted the, the mode here and this looks uh, pretty, pretty crazy right now. I'm definitely liking this, this effect. So adding this on here, um, along with the mirror, <clears throat> and uh, we've got this. Now let's also try adding these trails in here. Uh, 
Um, so just turning off the wave warp here and trails um, basically does exactly what it, it kind of sounds like. It creates these um, kind of delayed or yeah, trails of whatever you're uh, animating. So you can see when I turn it off, we're just left with our original lines, but then we've got these kind of delayed um, delayed trails uh, behind our, our lines here. And depending on how, you know, kind of intense uh, the feedback is here in this uh, on this effect, that will kind of determine how um, kind of crazy these, these trails are. So you never want to go um, all the way to one because then you get this like full, um, kind of full feedback where it's just overpowering um, your original animation. So bring that down. And this one is also pretty uh, um, intensive on the program. So I can I can tell that it's, it's taking a bit of a hit in terms of maybe not playing back as smoothly. Um, but if you take it down a little bit, down to like, let's say 60, um, that seems to be a good, good number. I'd say between 60 and actually 0.7. Um, anywhere kind of, you know, not 90 and up is definitely a little, little high. So and now our wave warp kind of has a bit more, um, bit more kind of going on with it. Um, it's not as, um, kind of flat. <clears throat> it gives it a bit of, um, bit of depth and a bit of, uh, you know, color or variation in terms of having, um, you got some, you know, kind of gray, you know, <laughs> gray in there instead of uh, just black and white. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm definitely, definitely liking that. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so I actually just added a uh, triangulate effect and this, yeah, looks even, even crazier. <laughs> Almost looks like a almost looks like a diamond pattern. Um, so as always, you know, um, this is kind of the benefit of working only with Resolume. You can have these, you know, kind of happy accidents where you drop things on and you you get something cool. Um, so as always, just uh, copy, you know, and paste um, because you can't do a simple undo. Um, and when you find you know a variation like that um, that you want to build off of. Um, just add it to a second uh, second clip, and of course, always always remember to save. Um, and this looks slightly different than what we had here, so I feel like I maybe maybe the order is off. doesn't have the exact same effect that I was looking for. So um, again, something important to remember is that your, um, you know, how your layers are, how your effects are stacked will impact how they, how they look. Um, so always kind of play around with that. Um, you never really know, you know, how exactly it's going to impact your, the look of your uh, effect. What's up, dude? Um, all right. So take down our levels here then that'll reduce the amount of uh, triangles that are <clears throat> that are in here so yeah I'm definitely liking that and I'm liking this original uh, this original line here too it's my dog yeah so I'm gonna keep that um, now the cool thing again uh, that they've added in Resolume 6, obviously these things are not uh, distinguishable from each other um, with the thumbnail just like this. 
but luckily you can just right click my mouse will right click right click and you can go to a thumbnail and you can click uh, update and now you can kind of see um, it's gonna when you hit update um, it's gonna take kind of a snapshot of whatever your animation looks like um, and then save it as a as a thumbnail so it's a bit easier to to identify so I'm gonna do that with all all of these and these ones are a little uh, harder to harder to see because they are um, they do sort of look a little similar this one looks a little different this one I made from another another day but <clears throat> yeah so this is a lot it's a very handy tool to have um, to help you you know again find certain clips um, in your in your composition so definitely very handy. Uh, if you haven't downloaded Resolum 6 yet, make sure you head over to resolum.com and you can uh, download a uh, beta of it and uh, demo it for free. So pretty sweet. But yeah, that's been, um, that's been 15 minutes. So again, um, always, remember to, always remember to save. Don't wanna lose any of your uh, hard earned progress. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to reach me at uh, zero to vj.com or on the zero to vj uh, Facebook page. So once again, this has been day 26 of making visuals with Resolume 6. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night.